Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shoebhim Adayu, again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the separately excited DC generator at the no load using MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the separately excited DC generator at the no load or the no load characteristics of the separately excited DC generator. A DC generator whose field magnet winding is supplied from an independent external DC source like a battery is can be called as a separately excited DC generator. The speed of a DC machine operated as a generator is fixed by a prime mover. For general purpose operation, the prime mover is equipped with a speed governor so that the speed of the generator is practically constant. Under such conditions, the generator performs primarily deals the relation among the field excitation, terminal voltage and the load. The curve shows the relation between the generated EMF at the no load which is the E naught and the field current IF at the constant speed called as the magnetic characteristics or the no load saturation curve of the separately excited DC generator. The field winding of a DC generator, either it is a shunt wound or the series wound, it disconnected from the machine and it is separately excited from the external DC source. The generator is run at the fixed speed or the normal speed. The field current is increased from the zero in steps and corresponding values of the generated EMF at the no load which is the E naught, read of an voltmeter connected across the armature terminals. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the MATLAB simulation of the separately excited DC generator. So at the viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement this uh, separately excited DC generator at no load circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So what is separately excited DC generator? A DC generator whose field magnet winding is supplied from an independent DC source like a battery. So it is called as a separately excited DC generator. So as we know that there are the two types of the windings in a DC machine. Number one is the field winding and second one is the armature winding. The function of the field system and the field winding is that it is used to produce or create the uniform magnetic field within which the armature is rotates. The field coils are mounted on the poles and carry the DC exciting current. The field coils are connected in such a way that their adjacent pole have the opposite polarity. And in the case of the armature winding, the slots of the armature core hold the insulated conductor that are connected in suitable manner. So that can be called as the armature winding. So this is the winding in which the working EMF is produced. The armature conductors are connected in series and the parallel. The conductors are being connected in series to increase the amount of the voltage and the conductors which are connected in parallel to increase the amount of the current. The output voltage of this separately excited DC generator at the no load depends upon the speed of the rotation of the armature and also the field current. According to the EMF equation of a DC generator, the generated EMF is equal to that phi NZP over 60A. If we are increasing the field current to the field winding of a DC machine, the armature voltage will also be increased. And if we are increased the RPM of a DC machine, okay, so again the generated EMF will also be increased. So greater the speed and the field current, the greater will be the generated EMF. So now open circuit characteristics of a DC generator is that this curve shows the relation between the generated EMF at the no load and the field current at the constant speed. So this can be called as the magnetic characteristics or the no load saturation curve. Okay. In the case of the separately excited DC generator at the no load, so this ammeter reading would give us the value of the field current and this voltmeter would give us the value of the no load armature voltage which is connected in parallel across the armature terminal. The data for the open circuit characteristics curve are obtained experimentally by operating the generator at the no load and the constant speed and record the terminal voltage as the shunt field current is varied. So in the case of that separately excited DC generator at no load circuit diagram, if we are increasing the field current to the field winding of a DC separately excited generator so that we can easily record the terminal voltage which is to be measured by this voltmeter across the armature terminal. So this would give us the E naught which is the no load voltage. 
The properties of the open circuit characteristics of a separately excited DC generator is that the field winding of a DC generator, either it is a shunt or a series mode machine, is disconnected from the machine and it is separately excited from the external DC source as shown in this diagram. So this field winding is separately excited from this battery or the independent DC source. The generator is run at the fixed speed which is the normal speed. The field current in the case of the separately excited DC generator in the field winding of a DC machine is increased from the zero in steps of the corresponding values of the generated EMF which is the E0 measured by this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across the armature terminals. So the main objective of this experiment is to vary the amount of the field current in the field winding of a DC separately excited DC generator and record the terminal voltage which is to be measured by this voltmeter across the armature terminal which is the no load voltage E0. So dear viewers we have to implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software and go to the power library. We need DC voltage source. Okay. We need DC machine. Okay. In the measurement block, we need current measurement. We need voltage measurement. We need display box. We need terminator. So now this is the armature winding of a DC machine and this is the field winding of a DC machine. So now in the case of the separately excited DC generator, this field winding is energized from the independent DC excited source. Okay. So now we have to connect this DC voltage source with the field winding of a DC generator, separately excited DC generator. So if we want to measure the current of the field winding, so connect this emitter in series with the field winding of a separately excited DC generator. Okay. So connect this emitter in series with the field winding. Okay. So now in the case of the no load characteristics of the separately excited DC generator, okay, so connect this uh, voltmeter in parallel across this armature terminals, okay. So this voltmeter will give us the value of the generated voltage which is the no load E0 generated voltage, okay. So this display would give us the value of the E0 in volts, okay. And this display will give us the value of the field current in amperes IF. Go to the parameters of the separately excited DC generator. Okay. Now mechanical input as a speed W. Okay. So this is a separately excited DC generator. So we are given as a speed W as an input. We need bus selector. Okay. Connect this measurement port of the separately excited DC generator with the bus selector. Okay. So go to the bus selector properties. So select the speed WM radian per second. Select apply. Okay. So from the output of this bus selector, the speed is in terms of the radian per second. So formula for converting the radian per second into the RPM. So one radian per second is equal to 9.552 RPMs. So this gain block will convert the value of the speed from radian per second okay, to the RPM okay so formula for converting the radian per second into the RPM is the by multiplying it 9.55 okay apply okay so now this display would give us the speed in RPM so if we want to run the separately excited DC generator at the 3000 RPM so we have to give the speed as an input in terms of radian per second is 315 RPS. Okay.
so if our speed is 315 rps so 315 multiplied by 9.552 so this will be our 3000 rpm speed as output from this measurement port so now our main objective of this experiment is to record the terminal voltage of this uh, separately excited DC generator at the no load which is the E naught by increasing the field current to the field winding of the separately excited DC generator. So now 30 volts is the field excitation voltage okay run the simulation. So now our field current is 0.2 ampere and no load terminal voltage of the separately excited DC generator is 77.74 and our rpm of this generator is the 3000 rpm means this generator is driven at the 3000 rpm okay so record this uh, field current value and this terminal voltage value e naught okay so now at the 30 volts field excitation dc voltage the field current is 0.2 ampere and the e naught armature voltage at the no load is 77.74 volts so now increase the value of the field current and again observe the value of the E naught terminal voltage of the separately excited DC generator at the no load. So at 60 volts run the simulation. So now our field current is 0.4 ampere and E naught is 155.5 volts. Okay, record this value. So at the 60 volt field excitation voltage the field current is increased from 0.2 ampere up to that 0.4 ampere and our terminal voltage is increased by increase the field current which is the 155.5 volts and previously it was 77.74 volts when the field current was 0.2 ampere so now again increase the value of the field current field excitation voltage is 90 volts now our field current is 0.6 ampere and E naught is 233.2 volts. Okay, record this voltage and the field current. So at the 90 volts, the field current is 0.6 ampere, and armature voltage uh, at the no load is 233.2 volts. Okay, so now again increase the value of the field current. 120 volt is the DC excitation voltage. Okay, run this simulation. So now field current is 0.8 ampere, and the E naught terminal voltage at the no load is 311 volts okay so record these values so at 120 volt field excitation voltage the 0.8 ampere is the field current and the terminal voltage at the no load means e naught is the 311 volts so again increase the value of the field current 150 volts is the field excitation voltage okay run the simulation so now the field current is 1 ampere and e naught is 388.7 volts okay record these values so at the 150 volts dc excitation voltage the field current is 1 ampere and the armature voltage e naught at the no load is 388.7 volts so now from this experiment if we are increasing the value of the field current to the field winding of the dc generator the armature voltage at the no load which is the e naught will increase as increase in the field current to the field winding of the, of the separately excited DC generator at the no load. And also from the results of this observation table, we have measured the value of the E naught armature voltage at the no load at the different values of the field current from 0.2 ampere up to that 1 ampere. So it is concluded that if we are increasing the field current from 0.2 ampere up to that 1 ampere, our no load voltage is increased from 77.74 volts up to that of the 388.7 volts. So dear viewers, this was the simulation of the separately excited DC generator at the no load or the no load characteristics of the separately excited DC generator or the magnetic characteristics of the separately excited DC generator that we have done on the metal. So dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the separately excited DC generator at the no load that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the generated EMF at the no load which is the E naught at the different values of the field current already as we know that as the field current is increases then the generated EMF at the no load which is the E naught will also be increased. So I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the loss do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madhaya for more informative videos related to the electrical machines, electrical engineering and the MATLAB simulation. Thank you.